oldest and the biggest photography festival in the world. Every July in Arles, in south of France, becomes the capital of photography. This festival gives way more than what anyone can digest. It's a huge festival and it's impossible to absorb so much imagery and visual storytelling even in a full week. That's why you always feel like coming back the next year to see more. This year, on my first few minutes in the city, I was lucky enough to catch the costume festival, a parade that celebrates the Queen of Arles and her maids of honor. Truly outstanding. Not part of the photo festival, but I felt like a great opening for the event. The actual official opening for this year event was really fun. But I will keep the video more about the photography and exhibitions in the city. I'm gonna show now some of my favorite exhibitions in the festival. Noemi Goodell, Phoenix. Set in a beautiful building with a distinctive installation of her work, Noemi's work considers how the earth is in a state of perpetual movement, showing the landscape in a constant state of transition. Her work also uses optical illusion and altered realities. This was the first show I saw on my arrival, and I really enjoyed the way it was put together. Bettina Grossman, a poem of perpetual renewal. This is the first solo exhibition of the American artist Bettina Grossman. The exhibition is a unique survey of Bettina's life in New York City. With photography, video, painting, sculpture, or textile design, her work are serial, modular, and sometimes with repetitive geometric forms that have a transcendental dimension. Interesting fact about Bettina, she lived in room 503 in the historical hotel Chelsea in New York. Her apartment became overloaded with years of accumulated art and materials, so she started sleeping in a long chair in the hallway. Lee Miller the exhibition is set on the majestic space Van Gogh. The show focuses on one of the most intense and productive periods in the life of Lee Miller. She was a portraitist, a fashion and advertisement photographer for perfume and cosmetic brands, and also a war photographer. I like how the war images were displayed close to the fashion photographs, creating a disturbing feel by the contrast between horror and beauty. Roman Urhausen, in his time. His work goes beyond a classic depiction of reality. This exhibition shows how the photographer experimented capturing daily life, working man, the seascape and the self-portrait. There's a very strong use of shape, forms, contrast, framing and different ways of seeing that are unique. Dress Code brings together around 40 artists. The exhibition plays with the relationship between clothes and identity on the individual and collective level. This was set up in a building with many floors and several rooms. It was really fun to walk around and keep finding new work everywhere. The different styles, approaches and subjects of each artist made the exhibitions really strong and fun at the same time. But still, it turns. This collective exhibition presents photography from life as it is, in all its complicated wonder in the 21st century United States. There was a lot of strong names here on this exhibition and it was definitely one of my favorite shows in the event. To heal our world, shows 600 images from the archives of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent movement dated 1850 to the present. 
Most of the photographs on display were taken to inform the public about the urgent humanitarian issues, while others were intended for internal use. The main wall was really impressive. There's a lot to look and the photographs are very strong. Very impressive archive of historical images. It's important to mention that there's a lot of non-official exhibitions during the festival. Many photographers and galleries take the opportunity to show and display their work during the festival. If you walk in the afternoon and the evening, you will see a lot of openings happening in almost every corner. Some of them are really good and it's a great way to discover new artists. This year, the bookshops and libraries were spread all over the city. I just want to say how impressive some of these photo books were. I found some really nice gems in the festival, with great storytelling, design and photographs all together. They are really a nice piece of art themselves. But the photo books are for another video. For now, I hope you enjoyed this small summary of my visit in Arl. I also want to mention that I participate on the portfolio review where 20 experts in the field reviewed my work. I'm making a whole video about my experience and how can you prepare and what to expect when showing your work to experts in the field of photography. For now, that's all. Adios.